Well, hey, welcome. This is Pastor Jeff. God bless you for joining. You know, God willing, we're going to do a series of roughly 10 minute devotionals on repentance, going through 40 different sin patterns of which I have to tell you, I nodded my head often and we all fall short of God's glory. Nonetheless, when we confess our sins, he forgives us. He sees us already once you're in the kingdom. He sees you as a member of the royal priesthood. And he wants you and me to cleanse as his bride. He's the soon coming bridegroom. So today we're going to look at sin number one. We're going to go through the first seven sessions in Proverbs 6. And the very first thing that the Lord finds an abomination is a proud look, pride. And here's my invitation to you. Take even 10 minutes extra time with the Lord over the next day or so. Don't, don't put it off. Do it right now as soon as you can after this video. Ask the Holy Spirit to join you in your prayer. Ask him where pride surfaced in your life as a child. I'll bet it surfaced pretty early. It did for me. I can remember being um, maybe two, three years old and really, really angry at my sister who was crying. She had an issue about uh, her digestive system, couldn't take my mother's milk and couldn't find apparently a, pro a formula that would work for her. So she cried all the time. And I got angry like, well, who's this? And uh, my little role as the number one child in the family uh, was being threatened. And I know I picked up a whole lot of anger towards her and pride. And, and uh, there's, there's more to it. But I'll bet in your case, the Holy Spirit will show you. And it's private. It's between you and the Holy Spirit. Yes, it's beautiful to confess that sin to someone else. Tells us to do that in the book of James, by the way. But you can do it just with the Holy Spirit, your teacher. Now, it only works if you come into the kingdom in the first place. You have to first repent before you can begin to clean up these sins. The very first word Jesus used as a preacher, and we find that in Matthew 4, 17, he says to you and me, repent, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. I mean, he could have said, peace. He could have said shalom. He could have said love your neighbor. No, he said repent. That's key. We got people sitting in churches today that have never repented. I'll tell you, I even think there's some people standing behind that pulpit who haven't repented. They're playing church. So repent first, come into the kingdom, and then look with the Holy Spirit at that first issue of pride. Yeah, it's a big one. It keeps us away from the fullness of the Holy Spirit. The Lord wants you and me to not be full of pride, but to be submitted to him, to be totally humble. Let's look at a simple word here. The antidote, the replacement to pride. And by the way, that's what you want to do all the time. Every time you repent, you fill it with the word of God. 1 Peter 5.5 5 says, Likewise, you younger people, submit yourselves to your elders. Yes, all of you be submissive to one another. That's humble. And be clothed with humility. For God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. And then in Philippians 2 verse 3, it says, Let nothing be done through selfish ambition or conceit. But in lowliness of mind, let each esteem others better than himself. Amen. Wow. That's the test. So go back and look at pride where it first surfaced. You can also ask the Holy Spirit, in what way is this now coming out of my personality? Is this part of the pattern in my life that I have an opportunity today to confess and then repent means you choose to get rid of it. Repentance is a free will decision of your soul, your spirit and your mind, your will, that says, 
I'm done with that. I don't need to be right all the time. I don't need to puff myself up. I don't need to follow my agenda. I don't have to be my own God in my life. I submit to the Lord. I know he has a better way for me, capital W. And that's repentance. And then repentance also includes displaying this new character, this humility to other people. So this is a very first key step. You and I, I think, frankly, we have to soon and often return to the issue of pride. It's so easy to pick it up. The world in which we're in today is filled with pride. In fact, all of the social media, Instagram, Facebook, everything else, TikTok, it's all about me, all about me. Look at me. We did this. We did that. Look at me etc. All of that is pride. And God's got a better plan for your life. Don't waste your time on pride. Find his humility, his lowliness, his gentleness as a member of his royal priesthood, and then you will be blessed. You'll be blessed. So we're going to go on now to the second abomination, a lying tongue. And God bless you. Let me pray a simple prayer for you to be successful in praying with the Holy Spirit, your teacher, to remove pride. Heavenly Father, I pray there would be a blessing. Anyone looking at this, Lord, let them have the strength to call on the Holy Spirit for his help as our teacher, our comforter, our convictor, our friend. Oh, Lord, we want to overcome these sin patterns and the number one abomination to you is a proud look. I pray everyone will be able to attack that wicked root into which we were born and remove it, replacing it with the humble love of God and love of others. Lord, you want us to be humble. And I thank you for this in Jesus' holy name. Amen and amen. Okay, until next time, God bless you, Pastor Jeff. By the way, let me know how you're doing. Email me, Pastor Jeff, J-E-F-F, at RepentDay.com. God bless you. Until next time.